Hi there, in this video we're going to go through differentiation. So differentiation is basically the branch of calculus which deals with rates of change. We're going to deal with uh, differentiation, the first area of calculus, and we'll cover integration in another video. Now the gradient function. So let me give you the definition of the gradient function. So if you're given y equals ax to the power n, where a and n are constants, the gradient function, and by gradient function we mean dy over dx, so dy over dx is given by n a x to the power n minus 1. So instead of learning the formula, learn the process, and the process is multiply by the power and subtract 1 from the power. So if you go back to y equals ax to the power n, the power is n, so first we multiply by that power to give us n a x, and then we subtract 1 from the power to give us that power n minus 1. So remember, multiply by the power and subtract 1 from the power. Let me go through a couple of notes. So back to the paper and pen. The first notes that I would like to make is, if you have y is equal to a, and a is a constant, so where a is a constant, so if you have y equals a, a is a constant. So in this case, I could rewrite y equals a as y is equal to a x to the power 0 as x to the power 0 is 1. And if I were to calculate the gradient function dy over dx of a x to the power 0, so remember the process multiply by the power. So the power in this case is 0. So let me take this red pen. So if I multiply by 0 the power, I'll have 0 into the a into the x. And remember at the same time you subtract 1 from the power. So it's 0 minus 1. So, in this case, 0 times anything is 0, so dy over dx will be 0. So, the point that I'm trying to prove by differentiating a constant is that if you differentiate any constant, the answer for dy over dx is 0. So, that is the first note that I would like to make. Second note is, supposing you have y is equal to ax, so again, a is a constant, so a is a constant. So ax is the same as ax to the power 1. So let's work out the gradient function dy by dx. So remember the idea. So remember the process. First, multiply by the power. So the power is 1. So if I multiply by the power, I'll have 1 times a, which is a, x. And then subtract 1 from the power, so it's 1 minus 1. Now, as 1 minus 1 is 0, we're going to have a x to the power 0. Since x to the power 0 is 1, we'll simply get a. So in this case, what I'm trying to say is, if you're differentiating any constant with x, when you work out dy over dx, it's just going to give you the constant. So, for example, uh, if you have y is equal to 1 over 10x, so a constant with x, dy by dx, when you differentiate, will just be the constant 1 over 10. So, let me give you one more example. So, another one. If you have y is equal to 100x, dy by dx will be 100 and so on and so on. So if you differentiate any constant with x, the answer is the constant. When you differentiate a constant only, the answer is zero. These are just quick ways to differentiate a constant and a constant with x. I have a range of examples over here. So example one part a is to differentiate y is equal to 3x squared. 
So let's practice and let's differentiate y is equal to 3x squared. So back to the paper and pen. So here is example y is equal to 3x squared. So let's work out dy by dx. So remember the process, multiply by the power. So the power is 2. So if I multiply by the power, 2 times 3 will give us 6. So it's 6x. And then we take away 1 from the power. So if I subtract 1 from the power, it's 2 minus 1. So let's simplify this. So dy by dx will be 6x to the power. 2 minus 1 is 1. So the answer is 6x for dy over dx. So I have another example. So in part b, y is equal to 6x to the power 4. So let's go back to the paper and pen. So y is equal to 6x to the power 4. So let's work out dy by dx. So remember the process, multiply by the power. So the power is 4. So if I multiply by the power 4, 4 times 6 is 24, so it's 24x so far. And then subtract 1 from the power. So it's 4 minus 1, so you're taking away 1 from the power. So let's simplify, dy by dx will be 24x to the power, 4 minus 1 being 3. So this should be the solution for the gradient function dy by dx for part b. So let's go back to the screenshot. We have another one, a part c. So part c reads y is equal to 2 root x. So y is equal to 2 root x. So back to the paper and pen. So y is equal to 2 root x. So before you differentiate, you write your expression in the form ax to the power n. So let's write our question in the form ax to the power of n. So root x, so remember, root x is the same as x to the power half. So with that being said, 2 root x is the same as 2x to the power half. So now we're ready to calculate the gradient function. So dy by dx will be. So first I multiply by the power. So the power is half. So half times 2 is 1. So it's going to be 1x. Then subtract 1 from the power. So it's half minus the 1. So if we were to simplify, dy by dx is going to be x to the power half minus 1 is minus half. So this is what we have so far. And x to the minus half is the same as 1 over root x. So this should be the solution to part c. So we have another part to do. So a part d. So part D is y is equal to 3, and it's the cube root of x. So back to the paper and pen. So y is equal to 3 cube root of x. So as we did with the previous part, so we need to write this in the form y equals ax to the power n. So let me write this as y is equal to 3 cube root of x. Remember, it's the same as x to the power 1 over 3. So I could rewrite this as 3x to the power 1 over 3. So it is then we can calculate the gradient function dy over dx. So remember the process. So first multiply by the power. So the power is a third. Third times 3 is 1. So it'll be 1x. And then we subtract 1 from the power. So it's 1 over 3 minus 1. 
So let's simplify this. So dy by dx will be x to the power third minus one is minus two thirds. And you could rewrite this as one over the cube root of x to the power two. So this should be the solution to part D.